Just over a decade ago, Clemson wasn't even a blip on the college football radar. That all changed when Taj Boyd became the starter in 2011. He helped put Clemson on the map and was the genesis of the powerhouse they became in the 2010s. There's a couple of Clemson quarterbacks playing in the NFL today, but what about Taj? I'm Riley Wynn and I'm here to tell you just what happened to Clemson legend Taj Boyd. Taj showed up to Death Valley in 2009 as a redshirt freshman. Then in 2010, he was the backup, and in 2011, he was finally given the reins, and that's when he really started to cook. The Tigers had two killer wideouts in both DeAndre Hopkins and Sammy Watkins, which made Taj's life a lot easier. That season, Clemson went 10-4, and Boyd led them to the Orange Bowl, where they would lose in historic fashion. However, that season he still threw for 3,800 yards and 33 touchdowns, while also rushing for another 200 yards and another five tutties. The next two years are really when the Tigers started to rise to the top of the ranks and where Taj Boyd proved he was built for big moments. In 2012, Taj broke the ACC record for most touchdowns in a game where he scored eight tutties, five through the air and three with his feet and he racked up 529 total yards. To no surprise, he was named ACC Player of the Year. Clemson finished 11-2 and, and went on to face off against LSU in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Taj Boyd threw for almost 350 yards, two passing touchdowns, and a rushing TD as well, and was named MVP of the game. His senior year, once again, the Tigers were one of the best teams in the country at 11-2. In his final collegiate game, the dude went off. In the 2014 Orange Bowl against Ohio State, Taj Boyd was clutch. He threw for 378 yards and five touchdowns, and also ran for 127 yards, one rushing touchdown as well, as they beat the Buckeyes 40 to 35. Taj Boyd's performance set an Orange Bowl record for total yards. Taj Boyd had a historic run at Clemson. He threw for almost 12,000 yards, ran for over 1,100 yards, and accounted for 133 total touchdowns. He holds the number one spot in school history for passing touchdowns, passing yards, completions, and about a dozen other categories. With a resume like Boyd's, you'd think he was gonna go early in the NFL draft. But unfortunately for Taj, he fell way later than many thought he would. He was selected 213th overall by the New York Jets in the sixth round of the 2014 NFL draft. Boyd's draft stock dropped because of two main reasons. He didn't have to make many reads in Clemson's spread offense, and the insane talent he had around him hit a lot of his flaws that NFL coaches were able to uncover. The Jets had a pretty deep QB room with Michael Vick and Geno Smith competing for the starting spot. Boyd was gonna be a backup at best, but before the season even started, the Jets released Taj Boyd. In the offseason of 2015, the Steelers signed him to a one-year deal, but again, he was released before the season started. After his NFL hopes had dwindled down, Boyd decided to take his talents north to the CFL. He signed with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in 2015, but was released not even a month later. Then he signed with the Montreal Alouettes, where he lasted a little bit longer, but still was only with the team for six months before getting waived. After Taj Boyd's football playing career was over, he started to dabble in real estate back in South Carolina. He also spent some time mentoring and coaching in youth sports programs in the community too. But in the summer of 2021, he announced he would be reuniting with Dabo and the Tigers as an offensive assistant coach. He even turned down a spot on the Bachelorette to make his return to Death Valley. Taj Boyd is one of the many examples of players who thrived in college, but just couldn't make that next leap when it came to the pros. That doesn't take away from his greatness though. Taj Boyd is one of the pillars that Clemson's now historic program was built upon. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. If you wanna see who we cover on our next episode of What Happened To, subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications. I'm Riley Wynn, see you on the next one.